Let me show you how you can get historical stock price data in Google Sheets. Now the function in Google Sheets is Google Finance. And Google Finance, all one word, has the following syntax. You're going to put in the ticker and they like you to put in the exchange that you're looking for colon the ticker. You don't have to do that, but if you don't do that, it won't know exactly which exchange to look at. It'll try and pick the best one for you. You have to put this in as text, so you have to put quotes around it. Now, if you happen to put set up your spreadsheet so that you put the uh, attributes um, in separate cells, then you can reference them without the quotation marks. But if you're going to type it into the function like this, you have to put the quotation marks in. So let's take a look at this. Okay, if you scroll down here and if you go to support google.com slash doc slash answer and then some other stuff, so just actually um, search out Google Finance and you'll find this information here and they give you different attributes you can get. You can get different um, price, price open, high, low, volume, market cap, PE, quite, quite a few things. If you want historical data, the attributes are the following, open, close, high, low, volume, or you can just put in all and it will give you all of these. So let's go to the actual spreadsheet here. So I have the spreadsheet, so I'm going to have a start date, an end date, and I'll put in some sort of uh, ticker symbol so that we can figure out uh, what we have here. So let's say that we want to end using today's date. So I'm going to say today, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and let's say I want to go back a year. So I can just take this date and subtract 365 days. And let's say the ticker we were interested in is, or the company we're interested in is Microsoft. So let's just go down here and I'm going to type in equals and as I start typing Google Finance it comes up here I can just double click that and let me put in uh, the ticker, the ticker is right here comma and when you put that in you can also get this information that tells you the different things you can put in and you can actually learn more and it'll give you more information on the different functions or attributes as we discussed before and you can also sort of close this up alright so then I'm gonna put in the start date and the end date and actually I forgot to put in all I wanted to put in all and I'm gonna put in the start date and the end date and let's see what we get and here we get and close this up here here we get these tickers let me extend that right so this is for Microsoft and for March 3rd of 2022 this was the open this was the high, the low, the close, and the volume. And you can see that we have the data for an entire year, okay, daily data. If I want to change this to, for example, uh, Amazon, I can just type in the new ticker. And again, it gives me all these new uh, open, high, low, close, and volume prices. So this is uh, actually a nice way to get historical data. You just have to remember to put it in, uh, use the quote around the uh, different attributes you're putting in to get it. You don't have to go and get all of this information. You could just choose to get the open or the close price or just the volume if you chose to. Here I used all so I get all of these. So pretty simple to do, pretty handy. Um, in Google Sheets.